Okay, welcome to our Team Southern Strong Call. It is January 17th. We are ha officially halfway through the month, which means that if you are not at Success Club yet, we're kind of in crunch time. Do not forget to... Um, that I'm always available for a one-on-one. -on -one. If you just kind of want to strategize or get together, we can also, if we have a group of people do a um, success pod, those are always options. But let's definitely work together to get you where you need to be for the end of the month. We'd like for all of you to mark your calendars. We have our um, next week, we have Shanta Flowers, who's going to be on our call about um, how she has built basically her entire business on going live on her page. I'm so excited about Shanta joining, with, joining us. She has just this incredible dynamic personality that is infectious. And she's that person. I don't watch a lot of videos. I don't. I, I, like, I scroll past them and I keep going. But if Shanta jumps on, I'm like, oh, let me see what she's doing. Oh, she's doing her workout right now? Okay, let me watch her do her workout. And I will sit there because she just approaches live videos in such a way that it's it's pretty amazing. So I'm very excited to have her on with us next week. And then on January 31st, Jesse Reamer is going to be um, on talking about being a product of the product. If you do not follow her, you should because she is absolutely amazing. She's lost, I think, close to 60 pounds in – the last year. She is the true definition of a product of the product, and I'm so excited to hear from her, hear about her journey, and how she goes about sharing her life and her story and her struggles through um, just her love for the products. Um, in February, we have our Team Cup coming up. If you've never been on a Team Cup team, they're a lot of fun. It really gives us a chance to come together as a team and to work close together. I do mine in a Facebook group message. If you're on my team, we chat every day. We have a daily check-in, like this is what I've done. This is who I've talked to. And really just bounce ideas off of each other. Um, these teams are made up of a group of five. There can be one diamond, but other than that, I don't think it really matters what your rank um, is so like Haley and I could not be on the same team, but um, myself and anyone, any other rank could be. Um, the there's three tiers for this. It basically, if you hit Success Club and you help the rest of your team on the Team Cup hit Success Club, you will get prizes. The third tier is a sleeveless Shakeology hoodie. The second tier is a Team Beachbody cooler bag. And the first tier is a Team Beachbody Bluetooth speaker. So no matter what tier you end up in, and I, um, to find out like how many points you have to have, you can go to the FAQ 8. 1901, but they're always really fun prizes, and it really, it gives you a good thing to talk about, to talk about that you're on a team cut team, that you're working together with the people on your team. It really shows um, people who are following you and thinking about the coaching opportunity that it, that it is a team, that we are a team Beachbody for a reason, that it's not single person Beachbody over here building a business and helping others. It really is a team, so. Um, if you are not already on a team, send me a message, and we will get you set up with that. This month for January, we are, if you hit Success Club, what they are doing is they're doubling your trip dollars for the Riviera Maya. Though That's pretty incredible to start off your year already doubled. So how that works is you get $10 per Success Club point that you earn. So if you're at Success Club 5, instead of getting $50, you will get $100, which is kind of neat that you um, really kind of just start the year like with a bang, with a head start. Even if you haven't registered for the trip, that, that, that still will apply. So as you know, they're not doing the waiting list yet. The registration emails for anyone who um, did not get early registration will start going out on Friday, and they will just keep going throughout the year. Last week, we talked about that if you're interested in doing this, you know, the requirements are just to hit Success Club, and then I would go ahead and take that $300 for the registration and just sew it away. So when you get that email, you can jump on, pick your um, your wave and be ready to register for that. I'm very excited about this. I, mean, I hope that we have lots of members of our team. Um, it's, it's just going to be a really great time. Um, last week we talked about um, the book that I was reading is Get Over Your 
D-A-M-N self. And I really liked how, you know, I just, it, it made me think about like, I, I need to talk about personal development more. So we're going to start maybe not every week, but very regularly just do a spotlight personal development. And this is one of my very favorite. It's one of the first ones that I read. It's called Fearless and Fabulous. And it's by Kira Alway Leb. Leba, I, I probably like just butchered her name, but she is an incredible author. Um, if you can follow her on social media, she's um, best known for her first book, which is The Champagne Diet or Girl Code. I think um, most of you have probably heard of Girl Code, but I really like this book because it's basically the entire book. It's a very short read. I think it's it's less than maybe a little over or less than a hundred pages, and it's it's about getting out of your comfort zone and. You know, to be a coach, that's what we do day in and day out. We push ourselves and get ourselves out of our comfort zone. So if that's something that you're struggling with, I highly recommend this book. It's a very quick, easy read. And it's, it, it, I think it is great that, you know, we talk about personal development being not just personal development, but also business development. And this is one that kills two birds with one stone. And I love it. So a little recognition, um, congratulations to Dana Schwab for renewing her Emerald rank. Whoop, whoop. Um, Bridget Baines has been an incredible product of the product. Y'all, I'm so proud. Bridget, I'm so proud of you for all your videos that you've been posting. Like watching you, I see a true definition of what Court of Force is. I get an idea. It makes me interested. It makes me want to reach out to you and get more information. So you're just doing an absolutely great job. Alex, um, you have been so consistent lately. It's good to see you showing up every day, doing your post, um, being a product of the product. I'm very proud of you, especially as full as your plate is right now. And Brittany Jacobs, um, Success Club 2, and your participation in the Phase 2 training has been great. I, I know I'm not active in that group, but I have been checking in on you and seeing what you're doing, and I'm just very proud of you and think you are doing an excellent job. So way to go, team. Um, I'm so excited to have – am I? screen just went like Haley Cottrell on our call with us tonight. If you do not know Haley, you are missing out because she is probably one of my top 10 favorite people. I don't even know if she knows this, but I absolutely love her to death. She has this fire and this energy that you like, you don't even have to be in the same room as her and you can just feel it. And I love hearing her talk and listen to her on calls because she just she just sets you on fire. So Haley, thank you so much for jumping on with us tonight. Thank you so much for sharing with us um, what you shared with us at Super Saturday. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you. And I'm just going to uh, hand it over to you. Awesome. Okay. Well, thanks so much, Alden. And, and thank you for inviting me to talk. I feel really, I feel important. So thank you very much. Can you all hear me okay? I'm just making sure. Y'all got me? Okay. All right. Well, uh, like Alda said, I am Haley Cottrell. I am currently living in Birmingham, Alabama, working as an optometrist. I'm just telling you all these things in it. So um, I graduated last May, and I'm doing this where I'm specializing, focusing a little bit more in uh, low vision and geriatric optometry. So I'm working with patients to kind of help them rehabilitate and utilize the vision that they have left from um, some sort of disease or pathology that has caused them to lose their vision. Um, I also see patients like regularly too. Um, along with that, I'm also recently engaged, so um, we are in the process of planning a wedding, and I just got my wedding dress this weekend. So many exciting things going on uh, as far as that goes. But um, as far as Beachbody goes, I am a diamond coach. I have been doing this since, I guess I made my, I made my coaching announcement in March, so almost a year or so at this point. Um, and I can honestly say that I have loved this ever since I started. Um, if you know my story, you know that um, Jessica Simplipo, uh, she's a part of Team Shine United. She is my upline coach, and she asked me to do a challenge group back in October. And if you do the math here, I actually joined one in February. So I turned her down, and I said, no, I'm not going to do this. Like I was interested, but then I was like, it's too much money. Um, it's going to take up too too much time. I can't imagine that it actually could work because I've tried other things like this and they just don't. So I decided, I kind of did my own research on what actually 
quickly. These I figured I could figure out how to eat healthy and how to exercise and getting into a good routine. So I thought I could do it on my own. Um, and I made this big plan of how I was going to do it and wah, wah, wah. Didn't happen. Um, Christmas, Thanksgiving, like all of this crap just happened and I just started feeling even worse and worse and worse about myself um, to the point where I just felt like I almost hit I call it my rock bottom because I really felt like there was probably no <laughs> I don't think that I could have felt any worse about my body um, I just like just didn't feel pretty you know I just didn't feel good um, and so when I finally said yes Jessica I will do this challenge group because she asked me again in February and I said yes I'll do it um, it was like my life just turned like a, an entire 180 and everything changed for me almost in an instant. You know, I was excited to join this group. I was excited to get my little green box that had all of my challenge pack, um, my Shakeology and all my containers. And I was so excited and I was ready and I was ready to stop feeling crappy. And so, um, I'm sure a lot of you have had similar feelings or experiences with this, but I can just say that I fell in love with Beachbody. I fell in love with the program. I fell in love with the support, the accountability, the challenge groups, everything about what we do, what we provide for other people. It truly changed my life. And I decided that I wanted to provide that to other people. And so to become a coach was somewhat a no-brainer for me because it was like, Yes, I want to do this. Like, I want to give this to other people. And, you know, along with that, it was going to provide me additional accountability as I moved forward. And so it was like, it was one of the easiest yeses that I possibly could have ever made. And I can honestly tell you that I was filled with so much passion and so much drive to just like do whatever it was that beach body coaching was. And I just went with it. And I don't really even know what, I, I don't know what I was doing. Like people would say, like, oh, good job, you're an Emerald coach. And I was like, what the heck does that mean? Like, I'm just so excited. So for the longest time, I really just didn't know what all you had to do to become a coach. But I knew that I wanted to share my story and provide this opportunity to other people. Um, and like I said, I know that's what a lot of you have also gone through. So. I kind of came to a pl place where I, I finally I did my research and I, I asked the questions and I learned how to become a good coach and what it took and what I needed to do and I just went with it and I said, you know what, this is awesome, this makes me feel good, this is making other people feel good, I think I'm pretty decent at this so let's just roll, let's go with it and let's take it as far as, as I can. Um, and that's not to say I'm planning on replacing my full-time job with this, you know, at this point. But that's to say that I'm going to give this as much effort as I can because I'm. it makes me happy. And I can tell that it's making other people happy, too. Um, you know, I honestly was just like, I'm going to keep doing this until I find a reason that, like, that tells me I shouldn't be doing this. And, you guys, it's almost a year later, and I have not found that reason that says you should not be doing this. So we are still rolling with it. Um, I feel very flattered when I when I when I look back and I think about my beginning as a beach body coach. I feel very flattered in the leadership that was ahead of me, and I guess the belief that they had in me. Because um, I feel like pretty early on, I got put into these these groups that I was like, I don't feel like I belong here. Like push to diamond groups, um, and I will say I got diamond ranked pretty quickly. And I think it was because of this faith that other people had in me that I didn't no even existed. Um, but you know, I got put in these push to diamond groups or these, um, you know, push to success groups. And um, one of the one of the first things in one of these groups that they asked us to do was to really sit down and think about our financial whys. You know, I'm telling you right now, I want to help people like I really do. And that's why I'm doing this. But they kind of this particular question in this group kind of opened up the possibilities to me and it kind of made me see what the potential actually involved. So, um, you know, I actually sat and I thought about it and, and it was great because I'll be honest with you guys, when I first started coaching, I was finishing up optometry school. Um, so yes, I am a doctor, um, but I'm also a doctor who's doing a residency. I chose to do this residency. When you, um, you know, when it comes to optometry, you have an option to 
to either pursue a residency where you can further your education a little bit more, or you can go straight into practice. And either is to each its own, it just kind of just depends on the person and what they want to do later on. Um, and so like I said, I decided that I did want to pursue this residency because I kind of want, I like learning and I like pushing myself, you know, in the those kind of directions and a third of what all of my classmates were making and when they went out into practice and that kind of stinks like when you think about it it's like oh that's really really upsetting that everybody's making like lots of money and I am not um and so I yeah and I, and I, I was aware, and I'm doing fine, like I'm, I'm living, um, but I, I saw the potential that Beachbody could provide me, you know, I was aware that I was probably going to get married at some point, and I was aware that there were different things that were going to need to be purchased throughout this year, and I was like, you know what, like, this is a perfect opportunity for me to take advantage of what Beachbody can provide, and, you know, that was, I guess, as far as, you know, financial why that was it saying, you know, I'm choosing to pursue my education further, and, um, you know, I know it's going to be hard, but I know that I can do this through Beachbody, and I know, I, I, I know that it can happen. You know, we watch as there are people who have replaced their husband's full-time jobs with this. Jen paid for her um, husband to go through grad school. You know, there are so many endless possibilities when it comes to Beachbody that, it's just, it's just absolutely amazing when you just take a step back and you see what you can achieve with it. So I don't know. I was just like, okay, let's do this. Let's keep moving with it. And like I said, I do want you to know that, you know, while the financial benefits are definitely amazing and definitely helpful, you know, my overall motive has always been and, and will always be to help people and provide them with um, the happiness and um, ability to have a healthier life. Um, People often ask me how it is that I reach Success Club so easily. Um, and and this isn't me bragging on my Success Club abilities. It, it really isn't. But I, I do I do hit Success Club pretty early on in the month. And I do that on purpose because I don't want to be scrambling at the end of the month. Um, and usually when they ask me that, I don't have a good answer for them. And I get kind of shy about it. And I'm like, I, re I really don't know. Like, I just get lucky, I guess. Like, I, I, I really don't know. But, you know, the more I sit and think about it, like, I do know. I do know how I hit success. And it's not luck. And it's not, you know, what just kind of happened upon me. It is truly because I work very hard. I work very hard in this business. And I say, okay, this is what I want to do this month. And this is how I'm going to do it. And I make a plan. And then I stick to that plan. And I don't stop until I hit whatever goal it is that I've set for myself in that month. And that is how I hit Success Club every month. That's how I get Success Club 10 plus every month. Because I say, this is what I'm going to do. And I'm not stopping until I do it. And uh, you know, yes, I'm living the kind of like single life at this point, you know, I'm not living with anyone and I don't have people to take care of, but that doesn't mean that I'm not a busy person. I'm actually very busy. And it doesn't mean that I'm just sitting around on my computer all day just sending messages to people. No, I have to strategically plan and I have to just make it happen. Um, and like I said, I just don't stop until it does. And that kind of leads me to this like story that I'm going to tell. And Alden knows this movie reference. So if you all do, please just make me feel better about my nerdiness. Um, uh, my, my approach to coaching life in general kind of revolves around this movie scene. Okay. So have any of you ever seen the movie Gattaca? Oh, yes. I see you all raising your hands. I know. It's a, it's a great one. It's a blockbuster. Okay. Well, anyway. Let me kind of explain it to you. Gattaca is like this, <laughs> probably a nerdy movie. It's this like futuristic movie. I think it was in the 90s or early 2000s, but futuristic movie that's kind of based on like genetic engineering. Okay. So <laughs> oh, they watched it in genetics. Oh, that's, so you didn't even like watch it because you were like excited about watching it. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. So it's about genetic engineering. Like I said, it's like futuristic. There's this whole other plot to this movie that I'm not going to explain, but I'm going to kind of set up this scene that I'm about to kind of bring everything in with. Um, so this is, there's this main character. His name is Vincent. Um, and he actually contains, like, natural DNA. He doesn't have any sort of, like, engineered DNA to make him, like, awesome and superior and basically what the entire, like, world at this point 
is, okay? So he's kind of like this outcast and kind of considered, um, like I said, less superior, not natural, or he is natural. It's just like he's not, and he has to go into hiding, and anyways. And then he has his brother who actually does have the genetically engineered DNA, um, and they consider him valid. It's always seen as better and kind of always like competing with each other, but he's always better than Vincent, who, like I said, is the main character. Like I said, this movie has this whole plot, and there's, like, this, like, whole other thing going on. But when Vincent and Anton are older, there's actually this conflict that goes on. And they decide the way that they want to handle this conflict is to um, do it the same way they did when they were children, which is to see how far each of them can swim out into the ocean. Okay? So I like this contest of, like, strength and, you know, endurance. And basically, it's set up where Anton is always going to win because his DNA is always better. So they start this race, and, and, or they start this, like, I guess, journey, and they, they go, and they go, and they go, and, like, Vincent just goes. Vincent is going, he's going, he's going, he's not stopping, he's continuing to go to the point where it's, like, the other side. And on, on, the, on the other side, he's getting back, he's not keeping up, he's, like, freaking out a little bit. He's like, how in the world is this? to the point where he starts to drown and Vincent has to come back and save Anton, okay? Um, and once this all kind of wraps up and you have this, like, big, beautiful, dramatic scene, you know, Anton asks Vincent, like, how how were you able to even do this? Like, because it's set up, you guys, to where Anton's supposed to win. There's absolutely no way why he shouldn't have won because he has everything, like, basically laid out for him for him to win. Um, and Vince says, and it's like, it's like the beautiful, like, moment though, where he's like, I, I left nothing for the swim back. So if you think about that, Vincent was like, I've got nothing to lose. I'm going to keep going. And he kept going, and he kept going, and he kept going, and he won because he didn't let fear. He he didn't let anything hold him back, telling him that he couldn't do it or making him think that he needed to conserve or do something to, I don't know, just like stop him from reaching his full potential like his brother did. His brother, who, like I said, had this amazing DNA that should have helped him kill it. And he didn't. And so, I don't know, that's how I approach basically everything that I do. When I run races, I'm to a point now where I'm just like, you know what, we're going to go. And we're going to keep going until I can't go any further. And I'm going to say that I gave it the best shot that I possibly could. Same thing when I would study for tests. I would be like, you know what? I'm going to go into this test knowing that I gave it everything that I see had. Um, same thing with, base, with beach body, you guys. I say, I'm going to put it all in. Give it every effort that I have. And if I fall short, okay, that's all that I can do is accept that I fell short, but know that I gave it everything that I have and know that fear or anything else not hold me back from reaching full potential. That is what I encourage you to do. I need you to just promise me that you are going to not hold anything back for the swim back because it's not worth it. You have so much potential in every aspect of your life and you should not hold anything back. Don't let fear keep you from doing what you were meant to do. And I truly mean that. Coaching, I'm just trying to read now. <laughs> Coaching has absolutely changed my life. Like, in every way, it has just made things better for me. Um, you know, I think about who I was before I started all of this, and it's somewhat embarrassing. Like, it's like, I can't believe that that was me. I can't believe I would have handled situations that way. I can't believe I felt that Nick has helped me create these lasting friendships that I, I feel like I have true connections with people, only fellow coaches. I feel like I have connections with friends I lost touch with, you know, people who I never even really talked to in high school. Like, I'm becoming good friends with them. They're sharing their goals and their deepest, darkest, like, feelings with me. And I'm helping them reach these, like, beautiful, like, <laughs> moments in their life where they can peak and they can truly be happy. Um, I, you know, I mentioned that I just went wedding dress shopping this weekend. And you guys, I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. I have, like, always imagined my wedding dress shopping experience to be just terrible. Because, like I said, I, you know, back a year ago was, like, just really self-conscious and felt really crappy about myself all of the time. And I just always knew that I was going to have to go on these cash shots for whatever, whenever my wedding was because I just never felt good enough or pretty enough. And that's just how 
I was going to have to do it. And I'm here to tell you right now that I do not have to do that. I tried on wedding dresses, and I looked freaking good. And I was like, that is my year's worth of hard work and effort. And it makes me feel freaking good. And I feel good about saying that. And I don't feel bad about that because I worked hard for it, and I earned it. And I know you understand what I mean. That's why I'm saying this, you know? Um, and so, yeah, I would get a wedding dress, and that makes me feel really good. I'm six months out, and I know I'm still going to look good in six months, and I'm not going to have to starve myself or go on these crash diets or exercise five times a day. That's an amazing feeling that Beachbody has provided me, that coaching has provided me, um, and I don't think anything else can really give me that blessing. Um, so I kind of titled this whole talk, to be like relentlessly pursue or relentless pursuit. And I hope that you get that theme out of what I'm talking about in that just do not hold anything back for what you are truly what your true potential is. Like truly relentlessly pursue everything that you want in life. And I really believe that that can be accomplished for you. I truly do. Um, you know, my goals, I mentioned this earlier, my goals are ever changing when it comes to this business. I don't know, you know, where this business is going to take me. Like I said, I don't plan for it to replace my full-time job, but I'm just straight rolling with it. I'm like, you know what? I'm having a great time with this. I'm loving it. I'm making awesome friends. I'm looking good from it and I'm helping people and that's what I wanted out of it from the very beginning And that's what I'm achieving. So I'm just gonna keep rolling with it and thank God for the blessings that he's provided me so far um, Kind of wanted to end this with just like a few more thoughts So when I first wrote this it was for Super Saturday and it was around the time when they um let out all of the like elite rankings and I'm sure you saw that people were ranked elite and um, they just announced at that time that Melanie Mitro was um, the top beach body coach for like the third year in a row. Um, and if you know, or I don't know if you know, but Melanie Mitro is actually, we're part of her downline. So, um, you know, she's, Val is her upline coach, and there's Jen, and then there's Alden, and then however you kind of fall. But we are within Melanie Mitro's downline, which is pretty legit because we're a part of the number one team in the company. Um, but she has been the first person to ever achieve this three-time top Beachbody coach achievement. And you guys, that is legit. Like, that is so legit. And if you've ever, I've never, well, actually, I have met Melanie Mitro. She's amazing. And she's, like, so down to earth, and you wouldn't expect, like, that I mean you you watch her on Facebook and you understand but like I don't know I wouldn't expect someone who is clearly making so much money to be that like cool and mellow and just like awesome um, and so you know she made a Facebook post that I, I was following and I just thought the way that she responded to this was the most beautiful and eloquent like uh, like answer to this question um, so basically she was thanking people for receiving this um, you know three-time top each buddy coach thing and she said that um, they had asked her, you know, how she was able to do it, and this was her answer. Um, she said, I just do it because I 100% believe in beach body. It transformed my body and health. We all know how that is. Um, I know it works, and I can help others too. I also know the business model works. I know if you work hard, you follow your heart, and you are confident that you can become a leader, you can achieve it. I just can't imagine my life any other way. I love teaching people how to eat healthier and make exercise a priority. It's my jam. Guys, top beach body coach right there. And I 100% echo everything that she said. She's the bomb. This company is the bomb. Coaching so much fun for you if you need it lit. Because, guys, this is an awesome, amazing opportunity that we have here to really help people live healthier, healthier and happier lives. So um, the last thing that I just like, I just like these random things when I was writing this talk. And so I'm just gonna list off these feelings that I want to tell you. Um, trust the process, especially if you know you're starting out. There are plenty of people who have gone through this that understand it takes time. So trust the process, stay consistent, find your passion, and keep it alive. 
Don't stop until you reach your goals you've set. Once you set those, you guys, set new goals and kill those goals and keep doing that. And that's how life moves forward. And that's how you are awesome. <laughs> that's how you're no metro. Um, work hard and find your life. Guys, thank you so much for asking me to talk. Alden, I really appreciate it. You guys have such a fun team. And I just thank you so much. Well, thank you for your time. I have, um, we only have a few more minutes, but I have some questions for you just based off because you are very busy. You do work a lot. Um, how, when you set up your, I kind of, you know, you generally set, I think you set your month up like most coaches do, but how do you set up your day? Like normally, how many messages do you send out a day? How many invites? Do you start with cold invites or do you build those relationships first? What works best for you? A lot of it depends on when at in the month, if that makes sense. So um, if I'm scrambling to hit success club, I'm sending a lot of cold invites because I got to make this happen. Um, if I, if it's kind of mid month or, you know, I've hit club and I've got some leeway, I'll just send like, more messages to people um, um, and just like, Hey, how are you doing? Happy birthday. I hope it was great. You know, things like that. So it really kind of depends on where I am in the month as far as like what kind of messages I send. Um, and I kind of just play that by how I'm feeling that day. Um, number of messages, I'll usually kind of um, write out a list of people that I'm planning on messing that week, kind of on a piece of paper, and just hit all of those people. And depending on how much time I have each day, because there's some days where I have a lot more time in the mornings than others, just based on, you know, different things that are going on. Um, but I'll usually try to, I mean, I at least do five. I definitely at least do five messages a day. Um, you know, whether that's a combination of cold invites or warm invites, um, but I'll definitely do that. I definitely try to write everybody's on everybody's birthday, like just on their wall, things like that, just like easy things where it's just like, you know, at least they're aware that I'm here and I'm supporting them and I, you know, am happy for them. Um, also try to apply to any comments that I haven't um, addressed at that point, you know, in the morning as well. So a lot of my stuff I get done in the morning, and I most of the time, some days I'm scrambling, and you can tell, most of the time have an idea of what I'm going to post throughout the day as well, kind of plan that either the night before or in the morning. And so um, usually, you know, I, similar I think to what you do, Alden, usually by the end of the day, I, I don't do as much beach body work unless it's like team calls or something like that. So I try to knock it out all in the morning. Does anybody else have any questions? Haley, thank you. I and it, my my thing is frozen. So if you have a question, uh, type it in the chat because I people have quit moving. So if you have your hand raised, I I can't see you. I'm sorry. I'm not being rude. I'm not ignoring you. I I just can't see you. Um, see if anybody types anything real quick. Haley, thank you so much for jumping on with us tonight. I think that this has been very valuable for everybody. I'm going to share the recording in our page and then also in the Team Shine United because I know that there was more people in there who wanted to hear from you. And um, everybody else, thank you for hopping on. I um, thank you. This is what being a leader is, getting on these calls once a week and being on live. Y'all all are amazing, and I hope you have a great rest of the week. I love you all. Bye.